Hello, today's topic is how we can connect the LDAP system with the GRC system. We know that we require the data source. In GRC system, if we will have the data source, then we can get the data from other system. Sometimes you can see we need the manager's name of all end users. We need the people first name, last name, whether people are there in the organization or not. Each and every data required. If some user, if anybody is going to raise request, then definitely that data should be populated by default. So how all this data would be getting in the system by default? So obviously we must have a data source. Either we can use HR systems, LDAP system, IDM, whatever we should have something so right now we'll talk about how we can use LDAP system as the data source in our GRC systems and how we can integrate that GRC system so that all these employees can get those first name last name email ID department all these things would be by default coming populated in the end user portal so let's log in into the system So I'll just let me log in from very beginning so that you will come to know what exactly I'm trying to say. So here we have a two stops directly we have LDAP decode wherein you can look at whether LDAP is configured in the system or not. Suppose you are logging into with LDAP decode. So from here you will come to know whether LDAP is configured or not. So before integration of LDAP, you must be having the LDAP ID, I mean server details. Okay, so we have a SAP system with us, but at the same time we need the credentials from external system. Since LDAP is legacy system, it's not connected or uh, integrated by default with the SAP. It's a of course it's an external system so we make sure that external system should be connected with our sap so how we can connect so definitely we should go for making one rfc connection so what kind of rfc it would be it would be your tcp ip above connection so in order to connect above or you know any our rfc connections so here we'll uh, talk about the tcp ip since you know t uh, ldap is the external system so we'll go for tcp ip so in that case what we can require from the ldap team that is your ldap server credentials okay id and password so what happened we'll connect the rfc and we make sure to talk with that particularly system so what happened we'll get the data sync whatever the data are there like first name last name email id whoever would be the manager from respect to employees then everything would be coming into our GS system so here we need to check whether it is already there or anybody has configured or not if nobody has configured it would be like red and if you will just log on over here so it will ask the user id okay so you have to just provide the credentials of the ldap so this is the first step in order to check whether ldap is configured or not so if you find ldap is not configured at all so what you need to do you need to just create one rfc connection and before that you will have the credentials ready you can connect with your ldap team and get those credentials with you and make sure you just create a connections if you have any difficulties you can ask your basis team so that they can help you to just create a rfc so let me show you how you can connect the rfc you will go to sm59 so here you can go to sm59 and then you go for creating one tcp ip connections so here you will just click on the tcp ip connection then create one rfc 
so this should be like your tcp ip connections just let me go mac let me cancel here here you have to select this tcp ip connection then create the rfc so right now t has come by default so you will give your ldap system over here then another important stuff here you have to put the program id then you have like your administration field and your login uh, security okay so you can give the rfc systems i mean your ldap name then it will ask to provide all this you know server host server host name and password right so then you do the connection test then it would be definitely checking or you know mapping towards that ldap systems and of course it should give the connection result as successful once this rfc setup is done then you will go to your spro stro so here in you will check and integrate all those uh, stops so we will go to s row and of course uh, you will have uh, many uh, things to do over here so then only you can able to connect the rfc so i will just show you over here here you will go to sap native ever then you will have so many options then go to your application server then click on the system administration then go the directory integration then you will see three things are there configure a ldap connector define ldap users configure ldap server so you need to do this uh, three steps over here this is a table cross client we know throw is a table cross client so you need to just put all this ldap details whatever the details you have you can you know create the new entries you can see you can create the new entries and put the respective values connector name application server status all this you know trace label of so all these things are there so make sure you just put all those relevant values over here then go to the second item that is your define ldap users so you must give your ldap id details and the respective fields so so you can create one entry and put all this you know user id ldap user id and respective uh, details then you will have another stop that is your configure ldap server so what happened your ldap will definitely so it is locked earlier so okay i will go to the display mode no not a problem so here it is asking all of stops let me just uh, i know see where it is locked so that we can just unlock from this stock so here it comes over here so you can get all these details so new entries mapping synchronizations so here is a change so there may be some issue in the system so here you can see the display mode so here we need to map those server name a lab server name and the relevant fields then your connections have been put on the your grc systems then you will go to the access control 
So you have to go to your GRC, access control, governance, risk and compliance. Then you will go your common component setting. So here you can go to the integration framework. Then you can find create connectors, maintain connector and connection times, maintain connection settings. Here you need to do the connector configuration as well. So here your connector would be LDAP. So you can see LDAP SAP. So here you need to just create one connection. Then you need to uh, put this LDAP systems under your connector groups. So then what happened? <coughs> your connection would be established from GR system with the LDAP server. So this is uh, uh, all from this uh, navigation so it, you might uh, need to do the few steps over here i don't want to describe all over here it would be lengthy video then you need to go for integration scenario here just click on this maintain connection setting so here you can see integration scenarios so you will have many stops over here so, so this must be configured as a free requisites of course so for all this uh, like your access control like uh, your emergency access management access request management access risk analysis business role management you need to make sure your integra integration scenarios is ready then only your GRC system will work and all these components will really give the results all the uh, results all the things components you can say everything would be implemented once this integration scenario is a prerequisite as part of the just after installations so here then you have another step that is uh, go to this access control then you have uh, one data source is there you can see a maintain data source configuration so here you need to just put the LDAP system over here as a data source so here you need to give the target connector would be LDAP so you need to create one new entry and give the target connector LDAP this what would what could be the sequence of the LDAP because uh, we have many backend systems so it would be sequence like one two three so you can put some sequence numbers so that your data source should be created over here and you need to just follow these four steps where you need to just put that LDAP details then once you done these things then what happened you are able to integrate with the LDAP system with your GS systems so hope you find the useful of this video you know why LDAP is required and how basically LDAP system is going to be integrated with the GS systems what all steps to be followed and what all the challenges may come if you will find any challenge or difficulties you need to just uh, check the connections and of course when uh, uh, you need to ping the LDAP systems. If somewhere, if LDAP system would be down, then your even GRC systems may not pick the data. So completely, there should be a sync job. You will be, uh, you know, like creating a job for this LDAP so that your data should be sync in between your LDAP server and GRC systems. This is how you will be connected the LDAP uh, system with the GR system and you can make use LDAP as a data source. So uh, this uh, tutorial will give much more value if you find 
any difficulties please let us know so that we will clarify all of your questions thank you very much for watching this video we'll again meet in next videos till then goodbye cheers